Now, you know when you got that person that you got like a history with, y'all go all the way back, back to when y'all was teenagers. Right in the beginning, early stages of y'all career in the music industry. And I'm talking about Chris Brown and Tiana Taylor. Man, let's get into it. Now, we all know that Chris Brown's AMA's uh, MJ tribute performance that got canceled for unknown reasons. You know, but before all that happened, y'all, and I repeat, before all that happened, Tiana Taylor was supposed to be on the stage performing with Chris Brown for the MJ tribute, but she pulled out. Now, this is supposed to be your homie. So by you pulling out of the MJ tribute, did you already know that this was not going to go any further? Did you know that it was going to get canceled so you wanted to pull out before it got canceled? And on top of that, you you being an actor now, so you can't side of yourself along stage with the Chris Brown because he's labeled as controversial. Because we all know in the entertainment industry, as I last stated in the last video, y'all, it's very fake. If you side yourself around or beside a person that they frown upon, it can cause you some acting roles. Yes, yes, y'all. Now, any other time, Tiana Taylor would have not pulled out. Because that's supposed to be her, like a brother to her. So why is it now that you pull out of the MJ tribute that you're supposed to be doing with your brother and then all of a sudden they get canceled? Hmm. See, this is what I'm saying. Being an actor or actress comes with a lot. Y'all say y'all want to do this, but y'all don't really know the politics of it. Now, don't get me wrong. Nothing greater than, well, yes, it is. But don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being in front of the camera and doing what you see people do on TV and you just got a passion for it, and that's one thing that's cool. But you got to be also aware that the politics that come along with it, you have to be ready for. You can't hang with the same type of people and expect to get some roles. No, no, no. They don't base it just off your talent anymore. They base it off of who you around and who you know. Yeah, those are the politics, ladies and gentlemen. So if you still want to be an actor or actress or just an actor, then I salute to you because you're willing to deal with the politics that come with it. And Tiana Taylor knows that since she's not focused on being a music director anymore because she felt like she didn't get her credit just doing that department, she want to act now, and she can act. The last thing that she was in, I, I seen like a trail of it. I haven't seen, I haven't checked it out yet. I'm going to check it out, but I seen the trail, and it looks like she pulls off her character really great, and she was on The Breakfast Club talking about it. So this is her new field of, of what she's focused on. And in her mind, she's not going to let no one get in the way of that. Because, I guess she has a family to take care of, but at the same time, if you are Chris Brown looking on the outside looking in, you feel as if she turned her back on you. And that's a problem if y'all got years under y'all belt as a quote-unquote brother or sister type of relationship. And that's why she could not say anything when she saw Chris Brown face-to-face -face at that skating rink. Yeah, because when you know you were wrong or you feel guilty about a situation that you knew you could have done or been a part of, <clears throat> the MJ tribute, <clears throat> and you know that Chris know the politics of the entertainment industry on why you didn't do it, and he was there to confront you about it, but people like to say, oh, he was drunk, he was this, he was that. Maybe he was something a little bit, but I don't take the fact that he still feel a certain type of way because he felt like you betrayed him. And then you ain't want to talk about it to, to have a discussion to give him a clear mind or understanding 
of why you did what you did. See, when you're wrong, you can't, you can't, sometimes people, when they're wrong, they cannot look somebody in the eye. They're going to ignore it because they can't explain it because they feel like as if they explain it, it's going to blow the situa situation up even more. No, when you don't explain it, you ain't doing nothing but causing more confusion and more of a gap between y'all relationship. And then you get on, I guess, Shade Room, they wanted to post her dancing to Chris Brown's music. After the fact, later on, at the um, Lovers and Friends performance, I'm like, you ain't fooling nobody with that. He's just trying to cover up the guilt of how, of, 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 of according to how the way you did Chris Brown with that situation, trying to cover it up like everything is all cool between y'all. It ain't all cool between y'all. Not that fast. That's just a cover up to get people to stop talking. But I'm going to keep talking because I know when a hit dog doesn't always holler, a hit dog gets quiet when someone brings their mess and brings it up to their face. And that's what Chris Brown was doing. Because if you in any sort of type of real relationship with somebody as a friend, as a friend, and you're supposed to be like a brother, or and that's supposed, or that's supposed to be like kind of like your sister, and they act like they can't talk, and they just looking down at their phone. I mean, that's a disrespect of the friendship of the years that y'all put in together. Just going to ignore your boy? That just made them even more mad because it's like, man, what the hell was this all these years? I thought you was like a sister to me. You're supposed to be my homie. And now you act like you don't even know. This is what I'm saying, man. Somebody told Tiana to pull out of that MJ tribute that they ain't gonna have it anyway. She ain't let Chris know that either. Cause if she was to be the one to say, hey man, they finna they finna cancel your stuff. He probably would have respected that and be like appreciated for the heads up, but he would have still been pissed. But she knew that they was gonna cancel that AMA. She wasn't gonna tell Chris though. Because once you get in that field in the entertainment industry, you switch it to a whole different person, man. There's it, a lot of people that, you know, souls got, you know, they no longer, like, you know, have it. In the music industry, too. They no longer have it. Because they choose to sell it. And not saying that she, that's what she's doing, because Tiana Taylor's a strong woman. But they can kind of break some of the strongest people. But I don't feel like it would do that to her. Hopefully it won't. But when you get in that in that side of that industry, you know, you're gonna pretty much do what they ask you to do. Or tell you to do. And either they asked or told her to pull out of that MJ tribute because Chris Brown is not a good image. You don't need to side yourself on stage with somebody like that if you're trying to, you know, be a part of this. Right here, this film world, this industry, this entertainment industry. If you want to seriously focus on your acting as an actor. So she pulled out. Talking about she had to shoot a movie. Yeah, yeah you were shooting a movie. But that ain't, the re that ain't the real reason why you pulled out. They told you to pull out. To pull out. They, asked, they asked you to pull out. So they ask first. They don't just want to tell you because they don't want to seem like they got an authority over you. Even they, even though they do. But they're going to ask, can you just not do this thing with Chris? I mean, it's not kind of like, you know, good luck. You know, want to focus on your acting. You know, have this movie to shoot. So, he, and you didn't even explain it to Chris because you felt like, oh, he ain't going to understand. So I, ain't, I can't explain it to him. But when y'all get caught up at the, you know, at the spot, you pretty much don't want to talk about it because you knew deep down that you could have been there. But in your mind, you just had something that a little bit more important than you, I guess, and that's the acting thing. And that's, and that's I mean, hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? So this ain't no bashing on Tiana. This is just something that 
I feel like she didn't want to address at the time that she, that Chris Brown, you know, um, brought it to her face. She couldn't really have nothing to say because it was nothing to say because she felt like she could have been a part of something, even though it didn't take place. But the fact that she pulled out early before they canceled the whole thing just looked shady to me. It just looked kind of like, that looked crazy. Like she knew something was going to happen. She still decided not to say nothing. And that's supposed to be your brother from another. So it's kind of like the full story on that. Or that whole situation of why Chris Brown was so upset. But see, they like to stain Chris Brown's image so much because they always like to tell one side of the story. So it always makes it seem like he's just lashing out when it never tells the other side because the other side is all squeaky clean. But once you give him a little dose of that little bad boy image, any and, any and everything you do, it's always going to be one-sided. It's always going to be lopsided. But Chris got to be strong enough to understand that the media always going to do that when it comes to you, man. Any situation, or altercation, it's always going to be one-sided. Always gonna be lopsided and look like you just blowing up for no reason. Because you gave him just a little bit of dose. And now they're gonna forever run with it. You gotta be mentally strong enough and prepared enough to understand that. And I think he is. But I just don't want Chris to let the, the uh, media and the tricks and the game that the music industry play take an impact on his mental strength his, his emotional strength and not let it tear off into other drugs of that sort he gotta remember that he's Chris Brown and that can't let nobody break you only you can break you and you ain't going to do that because why? Got to have that self-love. All right? That's the full story on that whole situation. And um, y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, man. Sensei Reality TV. We got the 50 Cent video. I know I said I was going to push that out for Wednesday, but I'm going to push it to Friday. I had to bring this up again just to focus on just these two and not Usher. Just to let y'all know what's happening. All right? So, yeah. I'll holler at y'all later. One love. Peace. Stay military-minded. Keep God first. Sensei Reality TV. Gone.